The songs may say otherwise, but in the Northeast Kingdom, they know Santa's reindeer don't only live at the North Pole. This is kind of like a fun venture. We had no idea really what it was going to lead to. Is that good? And as Parlene Bro found out a few years ago, trying something new means sometimes you have to learn as you go. We thought they have a four-part stomach like a cow, so we're like, oh, they're going to be like a cow. We're going to treat them like a cow. They're nothing like a cow. Bro says reindeer are shy, and their two, Prancer and Comet, each have distinctive personalities. Prancer is calmer with groups, and while Comet is protective of her, he will eat from Bro's hand. And like most animals, whether they'll behave for the cameras is entirely up to them. You're becoming quite the little wench today. Settle down. But diva personality or not, Bro says they're worth it. But it's a ton of work, don't get me wrong. When we bring the animals out, you have to remember so much stuff. But it causes a lot of happiness, not just at Christmas year round. Prancer here is often brought to events, and even though you can't pet her, you can pose for a picture. And for those who want to get more up close than the reindeer allow, there's Mr. Jingles, the Christmas donkey, who loves to be petted. These are little pockets. He actually carries candy canes and gives them to children. So that's fun. They love to get a candy cane from Mr. Jingles. <laughs> He's one of many other creatures here at the reindeer farm, including goats and a pot-bellied pig named Wilbur who thinks he is a dog. He likes to run around the yard with the dog. He'll actually sit for treats. <laughs> He's actually a very affectionate pig. And also guinea fowl, which bro says live in the pen and eat the ticks that could endanger their reindeer. Eventually, she wants to have a reindeer family, but there's too much going on now to plan for that. After all, Comet and Prancer have a very important job to do this week. Every morning on Christmas morning, our grandsons look, and there are always slave tracks out there in the pen, so we know Santa comes. Cat Villanzoni, Channel 3 News, West Charleston.